quantitative expression in which he connected the vapor pressure with the mole fraction of the component. He said that the partial vapor pressure exerted by liquid is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that liquid. So suppose a liquid contains two components, A and B. Both are volatile. So the partial vapor pressure of A would be directly proportional to the mole fraction of A. That is, PA is directly proportional to chi A. We can write it as PA is equals to P naught A chi A. Where P naught A is the partial vapor pressure of the pure component. So, in a nutshell, we can say that the whole vapor pressure of the solution, that is P total, is equal to PA plus PB. That is partial vapor pressure of component A and partial vapor pressure of component B. So, P total can be written as P naught A chi A plus P naught B chi B. So, now when I plot a graph between the partial vapor pressure and the mole fraction, Let's see what do we get. As you can see in the leftmost corner, we have P naught A and in the rightmost corner, we have P naught B. Let's suppose that the component B is more volatile than component A. And that is why the value of P naught B is somewhat greater than value of P naught A. Now, here we see that the mole fraction at the leftmost corner of the graph of A is equals to 1 and the mole fraction of B, that is chi B, is equals to 0. So as we move towards the right direction, what we find that the value of chi B is increasing while the value of chi A is decreasing. And the value of chi B becomes maximum at the rightmost part. That is, at the rightmost part, chi B is equals to 1, while chi A is equals to 0. Here you can see one more thing, that when chi A is equals to 1, the partial vapor pressure is equals to the partial vapor pressure of pure component. That is, we get P naught A. While when chi B is equals to 1, we get the value of P naught B. So now, when I plot the graph for total vapor pressure, so what is that? P A plus P B. So what I see, so what we get here is that it is in between P naught A to P naught B. That is, P total is always ranges between P naught A to P naught B. That is P total is equals to P A plus P B. So now this was the mole fraction and partial pressure graph.